My name is Miriam Kaba. I am the founder and director of Project Nia, and I've co-founded several other formations, groups, and organizations over many years. We are living in the midst of a climate crisis and a global health pandemic that continues to ravage people across the world. State violence proceeds seemingly unabated and interpersonal violence negatively impacts many lives. People are suffering in so many ways. Looking around the world, we can be forgiven if we feel a sense of foreboding, fear, and perhaps for some, despair. But I think it's important to remember Audre Lorde's admonition that despair is a tool of our enemies. We can take some solace from the fact that there is other news too, and some of that is good news. So these are the days to commit to struggle and to fight like hell. Ella Baker said that the struggle is eternal, the tribe increases, somebody carries on. Choose to be the somebody who carries on. The key to lifelong activism and organizing, in my opinion, is to dedicate oneself daily to hope. Hope is a discipline. Hope can be a basis for action. It offers us a foundation from which to struggle for liberation. Another world is in fact possible. When we organize, we are always organizing towards a future that we will be unlikely to see. It's a future built on the hopes and the sacrifices of our ancestors, upon whose labor and love we stand. Making positive change is difficult. Uprooting oppression is the work of many lifetimes. There are setbacks mixed with some terrific highs. What's most important though, is that we act. Alice Walker puts it well. I have learned to accept the fact that we risk disappointment, disillusionment, even despair every time we act. Every time we decide to believe the world can be better. Every time we decide to trust others to be as noble as we think they are. And that there might be years during which our grief is equal to or even greater than our hope. The alternative, however, not to act and therefore to miss experiencing other people at their best, reaching toward their fullness, has never appealed to me. It's never appealed to me either. To transform the conditions of our oppression, we can only do what we can today, where we are, in the best way that we know how within our capacity. As a prison industrial complex abolitionist, I am trying to prefigure the world in which I want to live. I practice abolition every day towards that end. This involves both organizing for the destruction of death-making institutions and for the creation of life-giving and affirming ones. As there is no blueprint or map for abolition, we must spend time imagining, strategizing, and practicing other futures. Audre Lorde guides us in the type of future that we should be pursuing. There is a world in which we all wish to live. That world is not attained lightly. We call it future. If as black feminists, we do not begin talking, thinking, feeling ourselves for its shape, we will condemn ourselves and our children to a repetition of corruption and error. Black feminism is a template for all of our liberations. Let's continue on the path of prefiguring the world in which we want to live. One that invites accountability over punishment, abundance over scarcity, interdependence over selfishness, care over violence, and love over fear. <laughs>